It must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention run an office like this. I guess I'll just have to come back later. Come back later? Why, when you could examine? That painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. The oil paint is so thick, it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. I'm sure the price is nothing to seize that either, for that matter. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Stuff knows. What is this? A table for clients. Ah, okay, that answers it. <laughs> hmm, an elegant ebony case. And if I'm not mistaken, that lighter is made of solid gold. That's a lighter? I guess. Even I can tell someone here's got money to burn. That doesn't look like a lighter. Yeah, that looks it like a whiskey flask. It really did. <laughs> Dude, there's, 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 there's straight up murder in this game. Why would they take out? Why would they change it from alcohol? <laughs> well, arson. Oh God. I guess we go back the to our office. Like he wasn't there. What do we do? Yeah. Um. I mean, sure. Might as well pop in. It's they'll probably say, "Oh, it's a crime scene." Sorry. <gasps> September 6th, Fay and Co. Law Offices. <clears throat> the office is still filled. The office is filled, not still. With it is police. still. No, it's still. It's still. I'm Forever. Having thoughts. <laughs> oh, God. With police officer. They're all busily searching for clues. Hey! You there! This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Uh, sorry, don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? <laughs> no, no, Phoenix Wright. How could anyone mistake me for Larry? <laughs> Guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That butts guy, he was a killer, and you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent. Um, right. And you were... Detective Switches? <laughs> Detective Gumshoe Baby. You already know. Uh, Gumshoe, wasn't it? Dick Gumshoe? Right! At your service. Hang on! That's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal! Anyway, get the name right. And don't go calling me Dick. <laughs> hey, Dick! Get over here! Y yes, sir! <laughs> Be right there. Uh, ahem. You're her lawyer, right, pal? You got business here, you better do it quick. Whew, he thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. Well, sir, I got this handy dandy uh, note from Ms. Maya saying we need her cell phone for court shit. I was wondering, did you see Maya Faye's cell phone? Oh, that? I have that. Do you think you could give it back? Sure! I mean, wait a second, pal! <laughs> Tricky lawyer! Uh-oh. He's on to me. <laughs> Ooh, what do we do? Look, man, we got... You can't, sleep, you can't sneak it past me. That's true, we gotta I'm, lay, lay it straight. <laughs> I'm the big dick around here. <laughs> I tell him why I want it. There's no way he'll give it to me. Stupid Something me. Matter? <laughs> oh, no, it's just... You know, detective. Nope. I know nothing, pal. Oh, I said that way wrong. <laughs> that Maybe. cell phone has a lot of numbers on it. Like her boyfriend's. A cell phone holds all a little girl's sweetest and spiciest secrets. <laughs> You're trying to confuse me. Sorry, pal. I already checked all the numbers in memory. Impressive. You're quite the detective. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, you can have the phone back. <laughs> there weren't any suspicious call records in there, after all. Seems he didn't notice the recorded conversation. Maya's cell phone received from Dick Gumshoe. Sorry, detective. Dick, detective, Dick Gumshoe. Check, detective, right? <laughs> check the detective 
court record to hear the recorded conversation. Ooh. Oh, it's the same one from earlier. Oh, actually. <laughs> My god, it's in fast forward. This jarbled mess won't do at all. All right, now what? We uh, I guess. About Miss Faye. Did you get an autopsy? Mm. You want to know the results, eh? Mm. Now don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. All right, all right. You can see the report, but that's all. <laughs> autopsy report added to the court record. Time of death, uh, September 5th, 9 p.m. Single blunt force trauma. Instantaneous death. Um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this is one trial you ain't gonna win. Why do you say that? The city's put Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edgeworth? I'm sure you know what that means, you being a lawyer and all. I guess I've asked all the questions I need to. You all done, pal? Um, yes, thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway, you'd better not. <laughs> no influencing the witness with your loyally ways, pal. Hmm... Come to think of it, I had completely forgotten about her. Hey! <laughs> the witness? Yeah, Miss April, May, June, July. <laughs> Sorry about She lives this. in August, September Boulevard. <laughs> August, September, October Vod. Sorry about <laughs> this, but I can't tell you anything about her. Especially not her address. <laughs> and, and her name. <laughs> Well, you just told me her name. Miss May, huh? <laughs> so you've sent her home already, then? <laughs> You're trying your loyally tricks on me now. She's not to go outside her room until the trial. So, she's still in her hotel across the way. <laughs> I guess I should go. I guess I should know better than to try to get, detect get a detective to leak information. You got that right, pal. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. <laughs> but first, Edgeworth. <laughs> Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait. You do know him, don't you? Ooh, do we be lawyerly and liarly? Ooh. We gotta play it tough. We gotta go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big dick himself. <laughs> and say I do? Of course I do. Nah. <laughs> I know him. He's a feared prosecutor. He doesn't feel pain. He doesn't feel remorse. He won't stop until he gets his guilty verdict. Aw, oh, don't talk about him that way. You make him barely sound human. Still, I'm afraid this pretty much decides the case. <laughs> so, Edgeworth is on this one. He hasn't lost a case since he became a prosecutor at the incredibly young age of 20. Of course, there are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. Heck. Heck. Miles Edgeworth. I like how it's Gatewater Hotel instead of Watergate Hotel. <laughs> Where do we want to go first? Uh, I mean, we can check back at the law offices real quick, but I, I, th I think it's like every time you go there, there's nobody there, and it's like, well, sorry. Yeah. There's nobody there. Let me just steal that lighter real quick. September 6th, Gatewater Hotel, room 303. Well, hello there, handsome. Um, hi. Smooth, right? Real smooth. You're the 
the lawyer, aren't you? Oh, God. <laughs> You're the lawyer, aren't you? I can't. I can't do this. <laughs> You're the lawyer. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> You're the lawyer, aren't you? Okay. That's... Hold on. We'll, we'll, we'll find him. You're we'll the find lawyer, him. aren't you? The detective told me. He said, don't say... Don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Memo to self. Thank Detective Gumshoe for making my job harder. Gee, this is all like something out of a movie. It's all so exciting, I can hardly contain myself. Ooh, let me go freshen up so I can look the part of the beautiful eyewitness. I pity the lawyer that has to cross-examine this one. Ain't that me? That's me! That's you. <laughs> Eventually. We don't know that yet. <coughs> hey, what's this? There's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer. That's not suspicious at all. Hmm. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hey! 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 What are you doing? No touching! Ooh, bad boy! Y you really shouldn't pry around in other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Upset? I thought she was going to explode for a second there. I wonder what could be inside the drawer. Do you think you could tell me something? I need you to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Ooh, observe. Incident? You sound just like a lawyer in the movies. I like a man with a big vocabulary. <laughs> <laughs> Better not encourage her. Uh, you know that thing that occur um happened the other day, that bad thing? What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it? Pretty please? Let me see. Um, well, dream on! If you want to know, you'll just have to come to court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Oh boy. Um, did you. just who exactly are you? Ooh, Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? N no, hey! I'm just doing my job here. <laughs> You know, you're cute when you blush. Believe me, this is the first time in my life I've blushed this much. <laughs> right. Can you just tell me it is that you do? Well... No! <laughs> and you had your little hopes up, didn't you? <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I see there are two glasses on the table. Is somebody staying here with you? Ooh, what amazing powers of observation. You must be one of those famous detectives, like on television. Oh, no, not me. I'm just a lawyer. Say, Mr. Big Dick Detective, why don't you go look for clues in the garbage? Oh, <laughs> fuck off. April May doesn't like nosy little lawyers. Oh, boy. <laughs> the late summer sunlight streams through the window. There's the Fay and Co. Law Office's building, of course. You can see inside of the room pretty clearly from here. I think it would be a little difficult to recognize a face from this distance, though. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, that's probably uh, all we need to see here. I'm the lawyer, look! <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, but I'm a witness. Police witness, you understand? How could I possibly give you any information in good conscience, hmm? Me, the witness. It's just like in the movies. Okay. Thought there would at least be something funny. Yeah. Boo. So you are Mr. Lawyer. Hmm. Seems like Mr. Grossberg is out. 
Well, maybe I should just wait for him to come back. Ahem! That wasn't the most over-the-top clearing of the throat I've ever heard. Aha! Uh -huh, so, you're the one they say has been rocking for me. What? No. <laughs> Save now, he's a boss. <laughs> uh, yeah, yes, that's me. He looks even grander than I imagined. Mm -hmm. That badge on your collar. Ah, so you're a lawyer, are you now? Yes, well, yes. And what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please proceed. Not busy? Then how come no one can get in touch with you? Hmm, something the matter? You came to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Well, here I am, boy. What do you want? Out with it. I want to understand the secret of your mustache twitches. <laughs> I just um, have an itchy nose. <laughs> well, sir, actually, it's about Maya. Maya Faye. Oh. Ah. Yes, Maya Faye. Uh, go on. Hmm? Why the strange reaction? Uh, uh, cha cha! <laughs> I'm really quite busy here, son. I can't go taking cases on a day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. Wait a second. How did you know that the trial was tomorrow? Ahem! Uh, anyway, I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry, end of discussion. What's going on? He refused me before I even got the chance to ask him. What do I tell Maya? <laughs> hey, yeah, man, what gives? How can you just refuse her like that? Please, tell me why you won't take the case. Um, uh, ahem. Well, you see, it's just... I'm busy, you see. But the client is Mia Faye's sister. Um, Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes, yes, of course. I know that. However, I'm sorry, but I, I must refuse. Sorry, goodbye. Creep. Fine. I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look elsewhere. Think not. Huh? Did you say something? I, I think not, I said. W what do you mean? I'm terribly, terribly sorry. But I'm afraid that no lawyer worth their salt will take on this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Why? I... I cannot say. I beg your pardon, but could you leave? Now? I have nothing more to discuss with you. What's going on here? I think... I think we keep talking to him. I think so. How did you know Mia Fey? She... worked here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day, quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A mission? You could see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burning passion. Never looked back, that one. That's quite a painting. Aha! You noticed! It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well... Isn't it? <laughs> the color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the weave of the straw hat. It's worth at least three million. Pennies. I have no intention <laughs> of parting with it, of course. No, I won't sell it. Not even to you. <laughs> I wasn't interested. Not for sale. <laughs> I'm not buying. Jeez. We, we we show him the shards of glass directly in his face. Very, yeah. very closely. Yeah, alright. Yeah! Very sorry, but I've got nothing to say regarding this matter. Alright. <laughs> Whatever, dog. Alright, it didn't work. Oh well. Uh, so we gotta go... go...
tell her the bad news. I suppose. Oh god, the other voice. Oh no. <laughs> Hiya. Oh, you're back. Did you find the lawyer? Um, well... What do I tell her? Well, see, just be honest. I... I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. What really happened? <sighs> you don't mean... He, he refused to help? Well... I see. Oh, sad Maya! I've been abandoned then. <laughs> 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 what about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young, and I don't know where my mother is. Don't know? So she could still be alive? The women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say a lot of spiritual power runs in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. There was a man, and he... he... he ruined our mother's life. Ruined? After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer, and she left the mountain. Hmm. So, you live by yourself? Yes, I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I had to become independent, or I would lose my powers. I feel bad for her, all by herself up on that mountain. So, who was this man who, um, ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir, everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. Wow. So what happened? The case was solved. We thought. You thought? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. <gasps> the police's consultation with the medium had all been carried out in secret, of course. But the man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the pla- oh. The papers. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud, and the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. White. Excuse me? White? You're white, homeboy. The, the white man did it. What? That was his name. My sister told me. White. Hmm. Just a little longer now before the state-appointed lawyer comes, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. 4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? Do I just leave her and go home? <laughs> they give you yeah, off. I go home now. Don't <laughs> the do. Good luck, kid. <laughs> I've made up my mind. Yeah. I'm going to defend you, whether you want me to or not. Why? Why? Well... Hmm... Well, someone else is the culprit. You didn't do it. You aren't the culprit. Someone else is. How, how do you know? I... Um, I have a hunch. Given the evidence, it would be easy to assume that Maya was the killer. There's something about this whole thing that smells fishy. This <laughs> <place> is strange. <laughs> Was it all an act? Ah! <laughs> and the way that lawyer refused to help out Maya, and the way his friggin' mustache kept twitching. But more than all of that, she has no one left to help her. Nothing is more sad or more lonely than that. I know. I've been there. A long, long time ago. 
put an F in the chat for me, please. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one on their side. Maya, I won't abandon you. You can count on me. Don't cry! <laughs> well, let's fight this one. Get you out of here. Right. Thank you. Whew. She smiled at last. She looks like an entirely different person. One last question. You are innocent, right? Yes. And I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So, what next? There's something that's been plugging me. Just what was inside that strange woman's drawer? It was when I tried to look in that drawer that she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. Millions of dollars, perhaps? The hushed money? Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, you are? Ah, I beg your pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of this establishment at your service, sir. Oh, right. I've just come up to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? Ah, I believe our guest, Miss May, is currently using the, uh, facilities. If you've no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please, stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah. Wait! No! Hey! Uh, why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing, embarrassing myself? <laughs> embarrassing myself! With regards to embarrassment, that has to be the worst word to, <laughs> to flub in that sentence. I keep why embarrassing I myself! I am bad with thing. Wait. Now's my chance to snoop around a little bit. Ah, I almost forgot. Ah, fuck. <laughs> ah, you, you came back quick. Might I ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her. Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp phoned. Oh, right. Sure. Mr. White of Blue Corp. Where have I heard that name five minutes ago? God damn it. White. <laughs> <laughs> that was his name. My sister told me. White was the name of the guy who ruined Mia and Maya's mother. Could it have been a coincidence? <gasps> yes. What is this? I want to know. There's a screwdriver sticking out of that half open drawer. Now's my chance to see what's inside. What do we have here? A wiretap. Hmm. What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? Wiretap added to the court record. There's definitely something suspicious about this Miss May. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? There's a story behind all this. I know it. All right. I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial. That's for sure. For Maya's sake, I'll get to this woman's bottom. Wait, wait. I mean, you know what I mean. Oh, bellboy. Still there? Uh-oh. Time to scram. I look forward to tangoing with you tomorrow, Miss May. In, in court. <laughs> Phoenix is so good. To be man. continued. Oh. Da, 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 da. Yeah! 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 Yes! Yeah. 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 Yeah.